I hated the Joker because before I even saw it, there was this discourse that started online that told us that liking the Joker or the even existence of the Joker film was some sort of victory for uh, legions of like incels. Are you a good person and dislike the Joker or are you a bad and dangerous person who's enabling uh, violence uh, by liking the Joker or even supporting it? And so, in effect, I was like tired of the movie before it even premiered. I hated the Joker because it showed Bruce Wayne's parents dying one more time. I've seen it in at least five Batman films and that's not counting the Joker, so we're talking six. How many times do the Waynes need to die? And again, how does that serve the theme of the movie? I hate the Joker because it's ultimately just a derivative pastiche of Scorsese. Well, who the hell else are you talking, talking to me? It's like, hey, what if the taxi driver wore makeup? I'm like, okay. We've seen Batman so many times. We've seen Joker now so many times. Like, I want new creative stories about like more obscure superheroes instead of just repackaging the same superheroes over and over and over again for the sake of just making money. I hated the Joker as a minor point that his whole laughing when he feels uncomfortable thing. Okay, so that's kind of his mental illness thing. It's like a pseudo Tourette's, but he's also delusional and depressed and it doesn't really come up later, like he completely breaks the whole laughter thing when he really becomes the Joker, which would kind of make sense, but part of the Joker's thing is that he laughs. Every version of the Joker has laughed. Uh, Mark Hamill, one of the best Joker laughs. Uh, Cesar Romero laughed. Eight, eight, nine, Nicholson, yeah, he laughed. <laughs> Uh, every Joker, you know, even Heath Ledger, he chuckled and you know got all kind of weird and giggly. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, you know, deserves an Academy Award for Best Actor, not Best Picture, but he doesn't laugh nearly enough. He, he's not. The, he should be the guy who laughs. He should be the clown prince of crime, and he's just crazy dude who is a nihilistic vigilante comedian failure who thinks he's Bruce Wayne's half brother. Sure. Okay. I hate the Joker because of what Heath Ledger did to that role, where he took it so seriously and he turned in such an amazing performance and it was shrouded in tragedy, obviously. And then a lot got wrapped up in that, where suddenly the Joker transitioned into this cultural icon that he hadn't been before. The idea of someone playing the Joker suddenly became this like, paragon of performance and it was like oh through this character this actor will be able to convey uh, be able to take on the greatest role of their lives and like let's get daniel day lewis to be the joker if he'll if he'll do it like one great performance is that character does not mean that that character deserves to be idolized and celebrated in the way that it has been and it's he's a clown who kills people <laughs>